I did. The neighbors tell me they tried to break down those safety bars that were covering the windows and the doors. Firefighters were also trying to break them down. They were able to break a few of them and get inside the home to fight the fire. However, it was too late. He tried to walk towards the door, but he couldn't, he, he, he couldn't as far as he could, you know, make it to the door because he has a glass door. And then for some reason, it looked like he turned back around and went back. As flames were spreading quickly, Edwin Moreland used an axe to break through these metal bars. I was using this axe to try to break the windows on the side and trying to hit the, uh, the lock on the bars. But it just went, the, it wouldn't work. The bars proving unbreakable for neighbors and the fire department. The man died inside his home. We just couldn't get the lock off and uh, we tried to get him out. These bars can be sufficient in preventing burglaries. They make it hard for people to get in, but sometimes it can also be hard for people to get out during emergencies. Homeland Security says 25 people are injured or killed each year from fires where escape is compromised by burglar bars. If you have these bars installed in your home, make sure they have a quick release mechanism that will allow you to escape in an emergency and know how to use it. Neighbors, loved ones, and friends and family have placed a little memorial of flowers at the front yard. Now, neighbors say the man was in his mid-60s, and he lived in this neighborhood for about 20 years. Neighbors describe him as a good man. Fire officials say they found him in the living room, and no smoke detector was found inside the home. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Live in Northeast Oklahoma City, Shelby Montgomery, KOCO 5 News.